Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkazonki. So today, what I was going to do in this video is do a court summons. There's a couple reasons for this. First of all, I just got it, and it's one of the court summons where you don't have to wait two weeks to do it. You can just do it straight away. I got it as a drop from graders, which was kind of weird because they're kind of a low-level monster. Um, and yeah, I, I did like a Zami task at... Well, I did a greater demons task at Zami. I was killing Zami, and then I teleported away when I when my last Yak was about to die, and I had like 20 graders left, so I just finished them off in Corridor's dungeon, and I got a court summons from those, which was a bit odd. And also, I kind of had a, a failed merch that I'm selling right now. I was trying to merch um, Elder Short Bows, and it didn't work out too well, so I'm trying to sell those. And uh, if I don't, if I'm not able to sell them, I might lose a bit of money, but oh well. So, uh, court summons are things that you can get from really any monster drop. You originally have to do the court, the original court summons, you have to come to the courthouse after doing a quest, I believe it's King's Ransom, one of those kind of quests, um, and then after that, you can do the initial court summons, and then you can get court summons from monster drops or from caskets, but anyway... Um, I'm just going to do this one. I don't know really why I do court summons because the only use that they have is for a trim completionist cape requirement and I'll never ever ever be getting the trim completionist cape. I can absolutely guarantee that. But at the same time, um, that's just what I enjoy doing. So this one is the sandwich lady versus the people. So this obviously isn't one I've done before. I believe there's like 25 court court cases in total or something. The rewards are really terrible. The only reason to do them. At, oh, the U, U Shield Bow uh, all sold as well. That was another merch that I was trying to do. And I did make a fair amount of money off of those. Um, but they just stopped buying. None of them bought after a couple days. So I just aborted the merch a little bit. But anyway, time for to get ready for court. Okay, so this is what the court looks like in minimum detail. And I'll be completely honest, the main reason I'm doing this video is because I didn't really have any other video ideas. Um, all I'm doing is slaying for a moment. I actually have to go pretty soon, so until that time, I'm just going to be doing a bit of Slayer. And I don't really want to do any more Slayer vlogs than I absolutely have to, and I don't really have enough time to edit together a guide right now. But I still wanted to upload today, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um... And there aren't really any pressing subjects in the RuneScape community at the moment to talk about. So defending the Sandwich Lady. So the first thing I need to do is I'm trying to read the walkthrough without showing it on the screen. Okay. I've done this before. This is the first time I've ever done this without like completely relying on a guide. I'm somewhat winging it, somewhat trying to read off in the corner of the screen. So I'll present evidence first. and I need to present the fingerprint as the evidence. I'm not even sure what my character said. I'm just going to imply that he said something. So the baguette is just a piece of bread, not a weapon. If you ever tried to kill someone with a baguette, you'd be able to realize that. And the coin purse. The coin purse is full of money. I'm not exactly sure how that is a good thing, but I suppose it helps my case a bit. Okay, the next one, I apologize for stopping. I could not do this without a guide, because if you pick the wrong answer, then you have to do it all over again, which is like the most annoying thing in the history of annoying things. Okay, so we have to talk to the sandwich lady about the incident. I don't even know what happened, but I'm guessing what happened is she hit someone over the head with a baguette, like she used to. Um, she used to do as a random event. So the other guy is named Simon Says, which is a really terrible pun. It's not even a pun, because his name is just Simon Says, and it says is misspelled, obviously, and my name is Simon, so I find this offensive. No, I'm just kidding, but in all honesty, um, that's really, really bad, really, really corny. So that's about all for this case. I wrap it up, and I try to appeal to the cook, I believe. It makes sense, and I should be able to win this court case. It should be not guilty because I was defending. Yes, I won. Okay, that was all. That's all there is to it. The reason why I do court cases is they only take like, well, this one took about four minutes to do. Um, and they're also a really rare monster drop. So 9,000 defense XP in a mystery box. I wonder what's inside this. One water talisman. Okay, well, I believe those are worth like 4K, so that's a little bit of profit. Oh, 7K. Holy crap, I did not realize water talismans were that much. And I just went to DK's the other day, and I got like 200 more water talismans. So if water talismans are that much, I have like 6 mil worth of water talismans, which is awesome. Every time you go to DK's, you usually get a drop or two of them. Um, as I said in my last video, if you watched it, I forgot to screenshot. But last time I went to DK's, 
I got these items. I got two hatchets, one berserker, one archers, one seers, and I also got a mud battle staff and two seer coals. So obviously the mud battle staff and the seer coals are just troll drops because they're not worth anything. But at the same time, I got um yeah eight drops in I believe three hours. So that's not bad. That's actually a little bit above average. But of course, I got the three troll drops, which are worth nothing. So. Anyway, I completely forgot to screenshot those, which was a huge fail. And also the rings are going up. The Berserker ring is like over a mil now, and it wasn't not very long ago, so that makes me happy. And the Archers and Seers going up. I don't know why they're going up. And the Armadil boots. Another drop that I forgot to screenshot that I got in an Armadil task the other day. Those are 7 mil. I'd be very surprised if they sell for that much because they're not very useful. But anyway, I'm going to be going back to Slayer. I just now realized that my chat box is in like a really weird position. I'm not sure how that happened. I'm going to fix that. And my Slayer task at the moment is... Oops, I pressed the caps lock button instead of the S button. This is a really easy way to check your Slayer assignment if you don't have a Slayer ring on me. So yeah, I have Water Fiends, which is an epic task. I love those because they're amazing XP. But I'm going to get started on that. And I hopefully, hopefully you guys had a nice day. And I apologize this video kind of sucked. But as I said, I'm busy today. And I don't have too much longer. And I just wanted to put something out there. So yeah, farewell.